I, I uh, watched the uh, long Halloween animated movie that they put out. Pretty damn good. They followed the comic book really, really well. And whoever they got to voice over the Joker, I think his name is Troy Baker. Oh, he's like the big, big guy for voice acting. Oh, dude, he nailed Mark Hamill for the voice. The laugh, not so much, but the voice. He's got it down pretty well, which is a little... It's awesome and disheartening at the same time. Because does it sound like classic Joker from the Animated Series? Yes. But don't try to be Mark Hamill. Make your Joker. Right. That's the, all the Jokers that have come before that like were great is because they were they were themselves. Like Heath Ledger, that's all him, one thousand percent him. Um, Jack Nicholson, that was his version of the Joker. Jared Leto was something weird. It was like he was trying to be something that he wasn't. And that's why I hate his Joker the most. Actually, Joaquin Phoenix is the one that I hate the most. I thought that was fucking awful. What didn't you like about it? That's, that wasn't the Joker at all to me. Oh, gotcha. Like, the Joker didn't have, like, a weird, compulsive Tourette laugh. He, he, like, he wasn't crazy and then became the Joker. He was crazy after he became the Joker. He was a normal guy mm -hmm. before he fell into the chemicals. And there is no Joker without Batman. Like, I'm sorry, but that's how it works. You have to have the Batman in order to create the Joker, like, unless you're completely changing the realm of the story. Um, you know, we don't know that Heath Ledger wasn't technically created by Batman. We don't know that there wasn't, you know, a crime that he stopped that actually became that. With um, um, Joaquin Phoenix's version of the Joker, it was like a couple of guys on a subway beat his ass and he goes back and kills him. And it's like, oh, this is how the Joker got made? Like, literally, like, a couple of thugs on a, on a, a subway car beat him up, and then he just decided to go on a killing spree. I think the message of that movie was wrong to me because it kind of almost justified that if you get picked on, you can murder. And then start an uprising? Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, I can't wait for part two. Okay, well, you're going to be waiting a long time because Joaquin Phoenix doesn't do sequels. He never has, and he's vowed never to be in a sequel. So there probably will never, ever be a sequel unless they change the actor. Yeah. 